On June 27th and 28th, Radio Wave circled the world with Ham Radio's Field Day. See what today's ham radio is really like with analog, digital, computers, high frequency, and modern communications. It's not your grandfather's radio anymore. From across town to outer space, ham radio. To find a location near you, go to arrl.org slash field day. Well, here I am at the field day for the West River Amateur Radio Club. We just finished putting up our beam. Great takeoff angle up to the west. And there's my mighty six meter setup. And I'm right behind that plastic just in case it rains. And I'm on. This is going to be a six meter station. This is a gimme station. Well, anyway, uh, we have the Spirit of the Goats helping us. That's going to be our digital setup over there. We have, uh, the food is going to be up there. That's the most important thing. <laughs> and in this field, they have an antenna I've never seen before. What do they call that thing? NVIS. An NVIS antenna. Near vertical incident, incident skywave. Sky NVIS. I have to look this up. I've never seen this before. For 40 and 80 meters. And it... Setup is over there, the station. And here, you can see the wires. And down here is the reflector. It's a little bit longer, 5% longer. Goes to, this is a homebrew antenna. I'm curious to see how this thing works out. I've never seen this operating before. There's a homemade choke up there, Fallon. And down here is where the apex, <clears throat> now they don't have to be 90 degrees to each other, but just the, the ground one has to be right underneath the radiator. And we'll guide off. It's on a painter pole. This is our 40, 80 meter station here. And... Uh, You guys got power over here already? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just got to crank her up. Crank her up. Oh, a KX3. Yeah. My favorite. You run the answer an amplifier or just barefoot? No. Nope. What is that? 10, 10 watts. 10 watts. Okay. They're not operating yet, are they? Oh, 40 meters working. Yeah, oh. it's nice and loud. Yeah, yeah 40 meters is pretty good. 20, 20 meters is pretty quiet, actually. Okay, you can go visit some of the other stations. Everybody parked up the hill. This is quite the location for field day. It's overcast right now, probably about 70 degrees. Rain is expected this afternoon, but we're hoping it stays away. Anyway. I have two generators. There's one here. And another one over there. 
That's the way to do field day. Up there is another one of ours. So they have three. This is a, car a Wyndham. They have a Wyndham up here. How come I'm not hearing do I hear? It's a coal-fired computer. It's it's a a PC. That's the problem. I, I hear <laughs> it's kind of neat thinking about running your radio, talking around the world by power that comes from the yeah. sun, 93 million miles away, with a little bit of sand and quartz stuff smeared out on a plate. Right? Don't talk too much about it. The government will get wind of it and cut it, shut it down. Yeah. Well, they can't shut the sun down. This is our field day set up here in Vermont at the West River Radio Club location. It's a rainy, rainy afternoon. It's probably about 50 degrees. And there on the porch, he's running 40 meters there. And there's our CW station back over there. A lot of Tyvek and tarps up here to keep the rain off. And there's my car up there. And down here in the field is the What do you got? Uh, I think it's 10, 15, and 20 on that. And there's our solar panel. You can see it down in there. That solar panel powers the batteries that are in this house. And they have a generator by the tree over there. And one station is running off the generator, the other station is running off the batteries that are in this building. So he's got emergency power here. Anyway, plenty of barbecue tables. Coffee maker going 24 7. That was really nice. Let's walk around the back of the house here. It's a little rainy. See if I can keep dry, get underneath the shed here. The view up behind the house here. Take the kids out to the woodshed. <laughs> this is a beautiful, almost to the summit, just below the summit. But uh, I had a great time on six meters. Six meters uh, was good. I didn't work them, but we had a station from Portugal on six meters. Uh, a station I had worked worked him, but he was operating with a beam. I was just using my hamstick dipole. So, but I did hear him real good. There was a pile up, obviously, I didn't make it, but six meters was good. I did the West Coast, Puerto Rico, um, all through the United States on six meters. So it was six meter band. I wish more people would get on there during a the regular time, not just from field day, because it's a good band to operate, it's just not used a lot. And down there was Another operating I'm standing underneath these canopies because it's raining. There's the generator over there. That was the 4080 uh, shed. And did they take the... It looks like they took that one antenna down. Oh, okay. They pulled that in. All right, so we don't, that's one less antenna we got to take down. They have... You can see the lines going up into the tree. They have a pneumatic cannon. Two of them, actually that fire these things over the tops of these trees and the one, two, three, we had the dipole, off-center fed dipole, they have two off-center fed dipoles that they're operating on right now. Uh, there's the line for one of them going up there. I don't know if you can see up there where it is. It's pretty high up in the tree. I guess they got them about 60 feet off the ground, 70 feet off the ground. So they're doing pretty good. Here's a picture of the house. There's Dr. John. <laughs> What, what's your call, Dr. John? K1JON. Okay, well, how classy is this? Ontario, the... Norway. <laughs> Don't put your on. <laughs> you want it? I'll take it out. I'll edit it out. Is it okay? That's oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> I, I should ask permission first, but anyway. But that's. We did yesterday. Well, we're getting near the end here. We're going to start wrapping it up. Nasty, rainy.